Hi there, uh, Lorenzo Galelli here. I'm a product manager at Veritas looking after net backup resiliency. Today I also want to showcase um, one of our features, which is the ability to rehearse a multi tier application. So, what we'll do is just go through what the environment looks like and then we'll carry out the operation. So, we've got a number of workloads which have been configured into resiliency groups. And we can see here the likes of Oracle, WebLogix, Nginx, uh, load balancers, etc. as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to utilize these workloads. We're going to combine them together into a virtual business service, which allows us to orchestrate their uh, resiliency, um, as well as you know how we can test the application in an isolated network. Um, you can also see they're using different data availability technologies. So Nginx is using NetBackup. We have a physical Oracle database using uh, Volume Replicator, and we're also using our um, replication data mover technology, which we can use inside the resiliency platform. Um, that's being used for the web logics. For the ability to provide the automation for these workloads, we can combine them into a virtual business service. Um, so what we're seeing here is a bus virtual business service which has been created already called Finance. We can have a quick look at this. If we scroll down, we can see the various workloads which have been added into the virtual business service. We can also look at the tiering in relation to their um, priority order as such really. So we have Oracle, then WebLogix, then N Nginx, and we can control the relevant order and in which these workloads are presented inside the rehearsal network. To create it is quite straightforward, really. Initially, you add a tier, uh, and then you can move you know, the various workloads into the relevant tiers that you want to control. So the other thing I want to show as well, I guess, really is the uh, the DR location which we're going to use. So if we switch to the disaster recovery site, we can see the various workloads which are, are running in there at the moment. And we've got no uh, virtual machines um, currently present there. And we're going to obviously fill those over as well. The other aspect I want to quickly show was on the uh, the physical clusters. Um, so we're using the part of the InfraScale technology, the volume replicator for the Oracle database. Um, and then what we'll see in London, which is a DR location, we should see uh, this um, come online um, in the isolated network that we want to use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is carry out a rehearsal. And we'll just follow this through. Uh, and then what we'll see is the progress in relation to the activity which has been carried out. Um, so what we can do, we can see the, a visual view inside uh, this activities pane. Um, we can also get a representation of the uh, various activities which are happening for each of those resiliency groups. So if I expand that, we can see we're now starting the InfraScale application um, in the London data center, which is the Oracle database which is being started. Um, so we'll let that run for a second, and it's obviously doing other aspects of the recovery as well. Um, if we switch to the InfraScale screen, we can see now that the Oracle database, uh, the fire drill, which is like a rehearsal, is being started up and we can see now the the current uh, resources which are um, being presented okay so the oracle database is now online uh, it took about a minute and 11 seconds to do that next we're going to be uh, rehearsing the web logic um, application stack this will actually go through the recovery aspect of the workload into the dr site uh, and this is using the resiliency data mover technology. So the replication is happening at the, the VM level um, via the ESX servers using the VMware for API filtering. So if you look a bit more uh, detail on the activities which have been occurring for the recovery of this VM, we can see things like the you know, freeze and replication, um, configuring the various requirements for the storage for the virtual machine, updating things like tag information, um, and then we're now in the process of actually registering the virtual machine itself. So let's have a, a quick switch over to the London site, and we can see now the uh, Linux uh, VRP pre-rehearsal VM, which is the uh, the definition name for the uh, WebLogix uh, VM workload, which has been recovered. Um, so it's currently going through boot state at the moment. Um, and if we look back at the activity, we can see now it's registering the virtual machine. It's assigning the relevant IP address for the networking. Uh, and then the, the VM is ready to be utilized. And then it will wait for the next tier, uh, which will be the Nginx uh, VMs, which will be recovered next.
Right, so the WebLogics application is now online. Um, and if we look at the uh, the next stack, uh, which is the Nginx load balancer, it will actually go through a restore operation as it has a low RPO. We can see the restore job. If we switch to NetBackup, we can see the uh, the two workloads are being recovered at the moment. They're utilizing instant access. So again, that will speed up the recovery time objective that we have for the workload. And what we can do is we can look at the London site and we can see the Linux pre-rehearsal uh, and then shortly we'll see the two instant access VMs which are part of the Nginx workload um, are being stood up uh, and they're starting to create the virtual machine. So we can see all of the relevant activities have now completed. Um, the real benefit, I guess, of this solution is the different RPOs which can be applied to the workload. So this Oracle um, workload has a zero RPO because it's using synchronous replication. The WebLogix app is using an RPO of five minutes. And the Nginx, because their, you know, their data doesn't really change that much, their RPO is, is around about six hours. But there, you know, you can combine these together and provide that capability. The VM has completed. Uh, we can see there it's also um, updated the IP address and DNS updates and then started the relevant um, system as well. So if we um, switch back to the, the vCenter environment, we can see now our VMs are online uh, and ready to be um, tested, you know, verified in relation to their ability to host the application. The other thing I wanted to do is just show that we can also automate this process. So we have automation plans. Um, if we look at resiliency plans, um, what I'll do is I'll create a new one. Uh, and basically th what this workflow does is allows you to create your own process in relation to the workflow. So the ability to rehearse a virtual business service, you can just drag and drop the relevant operation into the workflow template, basically edit that in relation relation to the various virtual business service that you're looking to test, and then obviously save the relevant um, components there. You also can inject things like custom scripts into this workflow. These can then be saved and then can be scheduled, performed on a quarterly, monthly basis as you see fit. Okay, so you've tested the application, then the next step really is to remove the environment ready for the next cycle. So what we do there, we just um, perform a cleanup operation, a cleanup rehearsal operation. Uh, and again, it's performed on the uh, relevant virtual business service, which has been created as well. This operation uh, will be carried out in the reverse order. So it will go through the cleanup um, requirements for those Nginx load balancers. Then it will start working on the WebLogix app. And then finally, it will remove the fire drill uh, configuration for the Oracle database, which has been created as well. So we'll leave this running, um, and then we can come back to that. And now we can see the uh, relevant operations have completed for the three workloads as part of that virtual business service. You can obviously go into the activities and, and view you know, exactly what's happening in relation to those operations. So for the WebLogic app, we can see stopping the virtual machine, removing the IP DNS, and then obviously deleting snapshots uh, in relation to this environment as well. So we can, I, I guess, double check to make sure things are offline. So if we go back into uh, London, um, we'll see those virtual machines are now disappeared. Uh, and then also if we switch back into the InfoScale environment and quickly continue my session, I can see the service group is offline in relation to the Oracle database as well. So the last thing I want to go through just before we finish was to look at some of the reporting aspect. So what we can do is we can look at the recovery assessment and the relevant activities history by virtual business service and also by resiliency group as well. And we have the ability to schedule these. So what I'll do is I'll run report. You can have different output types based on you know what your needs are and you can obviously schedule these in relation to the duration of how long further back you want to get that information so let me just run that take a couple of seconds and there we can see it's um, a new report has happened so if we look at october the 6th which was obviously today in relation to this demo and as we scroll down we can get information about the operations i haven't carried out any migrations on this environment yet, but I have carried out some uh, various rehearsals, obviously on the VBS, and we can see the average time as well as the, the maximum time it took. And then as we scroll down, we can get further details in relation to the different operations. And so here we can see it's um, gone from eight, 19 minutes um, before, back on the first, it was 28 minutes. So it's increased in relation to the time frame. 
so with that, I want to uh, finish the demonstration for you. Hopefully this gives you some insight in relation to you know, how we control a multi-tier application, how we can manage that and test the application you know, on a regular cadence as well. Thank you very much for your time.